Well, it's a big night here at the International Culinary Center. We're here with Chef Leah Linster from Luxembourg, who is one of the world's most decorated female chefs. Chefs, thank you so much for talking with us tonight. Uh, you're welcome. I love to be here. It's uh, really exciting for me to cook uh, my Luxembourgish soup in New York. Now, tell us about some of the ingredients that you'll be cooking with tonight that maybe might not be so familiar to an American audience. Uh, well, uh, maybe yes, because it's a green, the Luxembourgish uh, bean, green bean soup. We call it bonus schlup, and it's made with green beans, of course, mm -hmm. and then some onions, some celery, some leek, some potatoes, and then uh, and with water, not with chicken stock and some salt, and then of course with a lot of love, and then later we make metvorst in it. It's this uh, sausage, uh, it's a special sausage, which is quite spicy, and it's, uh, it's we, we boil it first, but it was on low temperature, and then we cut it and put it into the soup, and we found some very good ones um, at Challa and Weber here in New York, and it's almost our Luxembourgish taste. It's really fantastic. I'm very happy, and it will be great soup tonight. Well, it's, it's perfect for this warm, or for this cold weather that we have, sort of a comfort food. Now, let's talk about that cooking with love, because you have avec amour yes, on your jacket, and, and you cook everything with love. Tell us about your philosophy. Yeah, of course, um, I love to cook. That's what it means first. And also, I think, uh, which is, it's like magic a little bit. People who eat the food, they can feel how much love it is in it. And when it's made with love, they, you can feel the, the one who eats it can feel it, and that makes people so happy. And also, you can taste it because it's about flavor too. We have, uh, you know, you can cook whatever you want, but it, uh, when there are no emotions in it, nobody can feel anything. So it's better you make something that you really can, that you really know how to do it, and then make it so good that everybody has to seduce the people. I, I love to seduce with yeah. my food. Well, and you clearly seduced the judges at the Bocuse d'Or yes. competition. You are the only woman to ever have won the Bocuse d'Or. Tell us what that experience was like for you. And it was fantastic, too. It's now 20 years ago, and uh, I'm still the only woman, as you said. And it's a, really, it's a little bit surprising for me, because I hope that there would be more uh, women who, who would make the contest. But... Uh, I must say that I, I thank God, I thank really God and Paul Bocuse that I could make my whole career almost uh, with that price because it put me, Luxembourg is a tiny little country with good stuff, it's high quality but very little and it gave me really an international reputation and that's what made me, what made me. So when people say what's my favorite dish, I say that's my lamb because I made my lamb and then my lamb made me, so <laughs> I like it. And. Uh, and still today, and you know what uh, with love means too? You make it every day the best you can. And also permanently we, are on, we research to find the best quality because only real good quality can make you happy as a food. Because when we live with good food, we do not need any medicine and nothing else. <laughs> good food is like love. It is, it is. Now, given Luxembourg's location, so you're, you're, you've got a lot of different countries with, with different sorts of products. What do you find in terms of your variety of ingredients that you can use? So, in my, my country, is, uh, you can compare it to the Lorraine and Alsace, and we have more, uh, more or less the same climate and the same um, earth. So we, the, the, the country produces this, for example, this potatoes and green beans, it's very local food. And uh, my kitchen is very, it's really based on, on seasonal and local products. And that, I think that's also what's the healthiest for us. Oh, absolutely. And, and, and yes, and eating what's absolutely very local to you. Yes. So it's, it's whatever's growing around you mm -hmm. at that time of year. So you're not having mm -hmm. refrigerated tomatoes from months oh, no, ago. And no, no, no. <laughs> and then what it is, is you see uh, like the spices coming from the far away world. Uh, we are, our bodies are used to that too. And uh, I think it's really important that we use the spices and the herbs and the products, everything in the right way. And that will make you, uh, when we talk about light food, that's when it's light, easy to digest it. That's light. And uh, I, take, uh, I really take care for that in my, in my cuisine. And on the other side, it has to be very high level because I cook for, I have uh, got the Michelin star already 22 years ago. So 
we really want to have it at high level and healthy. Because very often people thought when it's, it was once a customer said to me, your, your food cannot be healthy. And I said, how can you say that? He said, it's much too good for it. <laughs> and my opinion and my philosophy is only the best food is healthy. It has to taste good. It has to make you happy. It has to make you feel good. And that's my goal. And the love is the magic ingredient. We, yeah. we all know that, yeah. yeah. So now you have two restaurants. So tell us about the, both of those restaurants. Well, I have one. Uh, my first, or my main restaurant is the one which is start and uh, where I ma we make that, that really fine dining and nice cuisine. And the other one is a little bit more casual, but also very representative for Luxembourgish cuisine. And so actually the bonus loop I make tonight comes from my other place. And after that we make that uh, salmon confit which is very, a very nice way to prepare salmon. And that comes from my main restaurant. Oh, yes. So what else are we making tonight? Here. So, and after that, we make some cookies with the almonds. They're really easy and really good. So I love food. You know, food to be really good doesn't need too much labor. It's uh, more about a good product and then a good idea behind. And, yeah. love, and as I said, a lot of care, a lot of love. And, and then it must be good. Yes, wonderful. Thank you so much, Chef, for joining us. Good luck with your demo. We can't wait to taste. Yeah. Thank you, and I say bon appétit. Thank Merci. you. Thank you.